Ghanaians living abroad seem excited about gradual improvements in Ghana, yet are worried about identifiable concerns they deem impediment towards desired goals. In an interaction with President Mills, the Ghanaian community in Ottawa, Canada, touched on a wide range of issues. Take your car from the harbour, the duties have to pay is more than the car you purchased from here, uh, including the shipment. So my concern, my uh, pledge to the president, what can you do? We will take a look at this and see whether indeed our tax regime is too high. Let's face it, what we do normally is that we have some guidelines which are prescribed by ECOWAS and therefore we try to ensure that there is some uniformity in our tax system. We hear that uh, you are trying to provide 200,000 houses for the masses and in so doing uh, you had contracted uh, the provision of houses to STX in Korea which in fact defeats all purposes of indigenization. We know that under company law, a company takes the nationality of the country in which it is registered. So truly speaking, it's a Ghanaian company. Even under SCS, the arrangement was that, yes, you are giving it to the SCS Ghana Limited, but they were going to use Grida and other uh, Ghanaian uh, experts in the housing industry to construct the houses. Now I believe that the way it's even clearer for the involvement of Ghanaians. Uh, the last visit I had in Ghana, I noticed that there were quite a lot of vehicles that did not appear to meet the roadworthiness test. In other words, they were still working, but it was really questionable whether they were appropriate for, for transportation purposes. One way of solving this problem is by improving the public transportation system. But public transportation will only be used if it is regular, it is reliable, and it is efficient. What are some of the specific plans you have in place to attract some of the talent that we have here to bring us back home? Because you, would, you, you can't imagine the number of like expertise and educated Ghanaians that live abroad who will love someday to go back home. Once we have tackled the infrastructural development of the country, that will in itself serve as an attraction to many of you to come back to Ghana. We tried this some time ago. About 15 years ago, we even set up a fund to encourage people to come back home. But they did it. Some came and went back. And if you interview them, the simple answer was that there was no job satisfaction. Minister of Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration, al Haj Mohamed Mumuni, disclosed that an annual remittances to Ghana is about $4 billion, surpassing tourism. This is Kwasi Jansa in Ottawa, Canada, for Metro News.